All right, free people. It is October the 23rd, 2023. And we just received, I just received this letter from the court of Greenbelt, Maryland. Okay. You know, this is a sad day in America where we can't get honest justice. And Lady Justice has become a whore. And she has her eyes wide open. Okay. Today the judge, and I'm going to let you read this. I'm going to go slow so you can read this. Uh, the judge is talking about the police officer who stopped my travel, stole my motorcycle, and then sold it. Um, we know the individual that he sold it to. But we're going to do this the legal way. Without due process without probable cause, they took my motorcycle and sold it. No hearing, no nothing, just outright sold it. Okay, this is the police officer that stopped me as you watched in one of the recordings while I was traveling um, from the police department in Tacoma Park, Maryland to check on the other two vehicles that were stolen by Tacoma Park and that they sold them and we know who they sold it to, too, because they're going to get my property back. Um, make no mistake about that. And whatever damage is done to this property, they're going to pay for it. I would take this all the way to the highest court. OK, these individuals stole property from a citizen and then sold it for profit without a hearing, without anything. OK, but this is the case. This is a letter I received yesterday from the court. About the sergeant who stopped me, who conspired with other officers at the Tacoma Park Police Bar, uh, Station to stop me on his day off. They called him in on his day off to... Um, Stop me and steal my property from me. Now, this judge is saying that I got 10 days to answer this individual here. I'm not answering him either. I'm making it clear. I'm going after jobs. I'm going to debar these individuals because they do not deserve to be law uh, adjudicators in our judicial system. This is the judge right here. These individuals were served and they did not answer the complaint by federal civil proceedings. Putting a line of representing somebody is not answering the complaint. All right. Only after we file default judgments on these individuals that they decided to conspire or hire or pay off or make deals with these judges to get a ruling the judge it is now past 30 days from he said he was going to dismiss my case for not proving that I serve these individuals okay this sergeant of the Tacoma Park Police Department is no longer an officer of the Tacoma Park Police Department after this incident um, he works for a defense company up in Rockville. Okay. This is the corruption that takes place around here. The two officers that arrested me in front of Enterprise are no longer police officers at Tacoma Park. They've been transferred to another town. We know where they are. But this is the corruption that is taking place across our judicial system. And we have to put these individuals uh, on blast and that's what's about to happen now because I'm going to Capitol Hill and I'm going to show the recordings of me serving these defendants giving it to the clerk of the court and waiting the time allowed for them to answer the complaint not put a line of representing somebody but answer the complaint because 
truly they don't have an answer of stealing property or citizens' property and then selling it without probable cause. Uh, again, the Supreme Court has ruled free citizens have a right to travel in this country without being harassed by government or law enforcement or a big business called the DMV. I'm going to prove it without a shadow of a doubt again, but it's already been proven once. And this is what the problem is with this judge up in Greenbelt. If you say you're going to give dismiss my case on the 14th, you should have dismissed it. It's all it's we're past 30 days now and I'm still waiting for this judge. This judge to dismiss my case saying that I didn't serve these defendants. Now, this judge is saying, uh, failed to respond to defendant uh, and Mr. Ehrlich motion to dismiss. First it was, I didn't serve Mr. Ehrlich. Now, as you read, uh, his motion to dismiss. Come on, man. You, you're contradicting yourself. Either I served him or I didn't serve him. Now you're saying I dis... He, he filed a motion to dismiss my case. If I didn't serve him, how did he, he find out about uh, filing a motion to dismiss? This is nothing but corruption in our judicial system. And this is why America is in the predicament it is now. Because one, Lady Justice has become a whore. She is a whore now. She has her eyes wide open and she goes to the highest bidder. I want y'all to read this again. Why am I still getting all these days? I'm ready to go to the next level in the appeals court and prove my case. That these defendants did not respond within the time given pursuant to federal civil proceedings. They didn't. Only because somebody reached out to these judges in this Greenbelt uh, corrupted hive and made some kind of deal with them to have this case dismissed. Okay? Now let's take it to Richmond, Virginia. And let me show them the videos, the recordings, and me handing this to the clerk of the court. And then let them decide if I serve them or not. I got a lot of these clowns talking about, oh, you can't serve these people that way. As long as they're agents or officers of these defendants, that's all that needs to be done. Read the uh, rules of the federal civil procedures, you know. But these are clowns that think that it can sway me to um, disrupt my uh, proceedings. But free people, I'm telling you, it is time we grab hold to our country and get rid of these individuals who are corrupt. I know what they're doing. They're waiting to see uh, the next recording that, uh, of me giving it to the clerk of the court. Well, we're going to wait until you make your decision, judge, so we can show how corrupt you are, or if you're an honest judge, or if you're a corrupt judge. Okay? This is the second letter. I haven't responded to the last one you sent, last two you sent to me about a show cause. I've already showed my cause. And I know you're watching the recordings. What you should be doing is getting on your clerk of the court, finding out what happened to those nine um, summons and affidavit. I have the people who I paid. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the recordings that we served them. I have the recording I handed to your clerk of your court. Corruption, conspiracy, aiding and abetting. And under title 18, section 242, it is a criminal act. And I'm going to press it to the fullest. These individuals stole my property and then sold it without probable cause. And there's got to be someone being held accountable. You know, I listen to all these clowns who make these comments on my thing oh you didn't serve the person you don't have a right to travel i know y'all need to go to china or russia uh you know what i'm saying 
that shit don't wash in America with real Americans. It is time we take our country back and stop listening to these clowns that um, <clears throat> is running their mouths or, or just straight cowards. They stand for nothing. And this is why this country is in the predicament it's in now of individuals doing this kind of foolishness. If the shoe was on the other foot, this case would have been dismissed. If I didn't do this, if the, the defendants were the plaintiff, I would be paying this money to these defendants. But because I'm a black man who they thought that they could get over because they didn't see any lawyer's uh, name on the title or, or the, the ledger, they thought that, oh, well, we're going to do what we want to do with him and well, you got caught. I play checkers chess. I don't play checkers. I specifically didn't have my attorneys put give me a ledger with their headings on it. But now you don't got caught up and you keep bringing more people into it of losing their jobs. That's fine. Because I tell you what, this is going to the highest court and then it's going to go to the media this fake media, but I'm putting it on social media so free people can see how corrupt our system is in America. I want y'all to read this again. Now I'm going to go slow so y'all can see this order to show cause. I served this gentleman. I served him through the U.S. mail. Okay. He never responded back. Then I filed a default judgment. And as you see, look at here, right here, Mr. The, the County Executive for the Corporation of Montgomery County filed a motion to dismiss. This motion of dismiss came after the default judgment. And I let the days go by long enough so that there wouldn't be any kind of misunderstanding that they didn't answer the, the complaint. I let it go past the prescribed dates pursuant to the civil federal civil rule and they still didn't respond. Only after I filed my motion for default judgment and then this gentleman wanted to say he has immunity he has immunity Mr. Ehrlich when you go outside the boundaries of your duties your immunity is gone this fake immunity is gone and this is something free people we need to take away from these individuals anyway this immunity that they have orchestrated for themselves you want me to be held accountable but you want to fuck up and not be held accountable for your fuck ups that's ain't that something that's some shit ain't it you want the free people to be held responsible when they do something wrong but when you do something wrong they don't want to be held responsible now let me tell let me tell y'all free people something how this is about Mr. Ehrlich, who is the county executive of the corporation or the charter of Montgomery County, knew Tacoma Park fucked up the first time and he gave me all my property back without me even paying anything. But because these clowns went back and did it again, he decided to tell his people up in Gaithersburg, sell his property. I never went to court. They knew who property it was. And I told them. It is not abandoned. It was stolen. Never went to any proceeding. Okay. And they sold it to try to get it out their hand and thought I wasn't going to do anything about it. But I know exactly who got each one of my pieces of property. And I'm doing it the legal way right now. Because I'm going to get my property back. And it's going to be a problem if I don't get it through the court system. You're not going to steal from me. I'm letting you know that. So, 
We're going to wait and see what this judge does about this so we can take it to the next level to Richmond, Virginia in the appeals court and let them decide. Uh, do I have evidence to prove I serve these people? Do I have evidence to prove that I hand it to the clerk of the court? Do I have proof to show that there is a conspiracy uh, of corruption or is, is a crime being committed in Greenbelt? Because it truly is. Once you give documents to the clerk of the court, these become official documents. These ain't uh, like a newspaper or whatever. These are official documents that are supposed to be put into a jacket. I can see one missing, but all nine of them, all the defendants' uh, summons and affidavit that they will serve are out of my jacket. Okay? They didn't just walk out on their own. And the young lady, I handed it up to her. I have it on recording. So let's do it. I, I'm the wrong person. I'm serious. I'm going to take this all the way to the highest court. And I don't have a problem of paying it. The um, appeals has already been filled out. We're just waiting for the judge to decide, is he going to be corrupt? Or is he going to be an honest judge and uphold what he swore to? He knows. Every attorney I talked to already said this case was over. From the evidence that I have of filing and these people not responding. Pursuant to the civil rules. Okay. <clears throat> but here again, we have another note. And we're 30 days past the last 30 45 days past the other two notes he sent or orders he sent to me which i'm not responding to and this has nothing to do about the money this is about justice honesty okay and showing the american people that this is a corrupt judicial system we have in america lady justice is supposed to be blind but she's not. She's a racist. And she's got her wide eyes wide open. And she's a prostitute. She's a whore. To the highest bidder. I paid $402 for justice. And this whore thinks she's going to get off. <clears throat> by extorting that $202 from me. No. Nah, I'm going to take jobs. I'm going to take bar license away from individuals. You know, this is what this is about. We have allowed these individuals to do what they want to do for so long and they think this is the law. The procedures were written for a reason, to be followed. You want me to follow them, but when you government agencies get caught up, you don't want them to follow. You get a corrupt judge and pay him off or do deals. And then this is what happens. You think because I'm a black man, I'm, I'm not going to be patient. I am patient. I'm patient. I got three other cases to be filed. I'm waiting for you to make a decision so I can file the next one. And the next one. And I'm going to pay the $402. Because these people have no leg to stand on. When does a government. Is allowed to steal property from a free person. And sell it. Making a profit for it. <coughs> you know. I get a lot of this and I want you to listen to this free people. Just listen to this and use your common sense on this. The law is very clear. The government cannot tell you what to do with something you pay for. When they take currency, they can't tell you what to do with it. What I'm saying is an example. If you go into Walmart and buy a 55 inch TV, Walmart can't tell you where to hang that TV, what channels you can watch, when you can watch it, because it's yours. You pay for it. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. You go into the DMV, which is a business. 
You pay for that tag and those driver's license. The DMV can't tell you what to do with it when they take your money. This is why the Supreme Court had ruled what, the way they did. They took your money. So therefore, that plate and them, that ID is yours. It's not the government's. It's not the DMV. So when you get ready to turn it back in, do the DMV reverse you for the money that you spent? No, because it's yours. They've been running this con game on you for so long through the insurance company. That's who invented these fake rules of traffic. The insurance company so that they can keep hyping your insurance up. Let me give you some good advice, free people. Go bond your car to do away with these insurance companies. Go get a bond for your car. Research it. You don't have to pay these insurance companies. Bond your vehicle and do away with these insurance companies. Okay? This is who made all these fake uh, rules and regulations for the street. And let me tell you something right now. Law enforcement can't enforce it. If any of you all have been in accidents, you want to know why the police take so long to come? Because they have no power in civil matters. That is between you and the person you hit. That is a civil matter. Unless a crime was committed, like somebody die in it or, you know, uh, You killed in a car, run over somebody. That's criminal. Okay. But tearing up somebody else's vehicle is civil. It's not criminal. But they've been getting away with this through the help of insurance company and this business they call the DMV. But again, we're going to prove that when we get into a real court hop, uh, court room where we get an honest judge. And I think I'm going to get an honest judge up here in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, what they fail to realize is that we have a professor who teaches law. So I'm not even worrying about my case. I'm worrying about getting into a courtroom with an honest judge and have 12 people hear my evidence so I can prove a point. To these corrupt people This needs to stop And the only way this is going to stop free people Is we start coming together Standing up and not taking this bull From these people we hire You know I want y'all to go look and see What's going on in today This bull mess that's going over in the Middle East Come on Israel has been a bully for decades And a new America New free people, we don't care nothing about that. We we care less about the bullying of people who stole a, a country from the real people. Okay? That's the same thing about what Joe Biden. I don't know if you all know, but look at what's going on in, the, in the New York and the new country. You know, bringing these people over to our country who not did not work one day in our country. And we're giving them free boards. We're giving them money in their pockets. Your hard-earned money, taxpayers. And if you think that's all right, then keep it up. But I know millions of people who don't think it's all right. These people didn't work one day in this country. And they have free board, free lodging. And the government is giving them your tax dollars. <coughs> You know, it's got to stop. You see my recordings of law enforcement securing big businesses. Um, hiding out, having sex in the people's car. This has to stop. We got some recordings of judges getting drunk and driving, which is a criminal act. And they're getting slapped on the wrist, you know, but they out here. Enforcing law and judgment on somebody else. But what about them when they break the law? <clears throat> Free people, it is time we take our country back. You know? Seriously. I'm not talking to these bootlickers and ass kissers because they've already 
sheep to the slaughter. They don't know no better. You can't change a fool. You, you just can't change a fool. He going to think what he want to think. He going to do what he want to do. And that's the bottom line. And most of them will say, oh, well, you a fool. Well, if I'm a fool, then why don't y'all tell this non-fool to go ahead and make his ruling? We're past 30 days. How long does it take to say dismiss in an order? Okay. I got 10 days. 10 days from the 17th. And I want him to dismiss this too. So we can get it all up in Richmond, Virginia. And let me prove not only was these people served, but they went into default and not answer any complaints. Uh, let me give y'all one more funny thing. I showed y'all uh, a recording where there is a paperless order. Without a judge signing it, it's no order at all. I showed you where the young lady said that they sent out a document to the address that is on uh, the, the where all this legal mail go to. All the rest of the mail went there. Why didn't this motion get there? Cover up, hiding stuff, you know. So we're waiting for these ju this judge to make his ruling. But free people, I'm telling you, we got to start r reeling these people, reeling these people in and getting rid of them. Because they're doing what they want to do. They're taking away your rights daily, secretly, and they think that they can just come on. You think I'm paying four hundred and two dollars and I'm not going to serve these people. You think I'm not going to take these documents to these people and then I'm not going to file them. And then I'm showing you free people what is going on to show you how corrupt our system is. And I'm not. Come on. The problem is, is this. These individuals got caught with the recording. This is why they don't want you recording in a courthouse. And the courthouse is your courthouse. It doesn't belong to them. Now, when you go into a courtroom, you can't film inside the courtroom because that's other people. But inside the courthouse, and if you're doing business with them, you better record it. I'm telling you, because this shows you how corrupt these individuals is. If I didn't have this recording of me serving these people and handing it to the clerk of the court, I wouldn't have a leg to stand on. I would be spinning in the dust, but I got it. And I'm going to prove a point with this. I'm going to Capitol Hill to the ethics board, judicial ethics board, and try to get things restructured because this is a criminal element taking place in Greenbelt, Maryland with this case. This case should not take this long. I filed this case in 2002 in December. These people went into default because they thought, oh, this is a black man. He don't know what he's doing. He just just ignore him. And they got hemmed up. Now I got a judge. <clears throat> Let me back it up. Let me reverse it. I got them telling me I owe two dollars or I was going to get the marshals to serve it. Even though I know I was supposed to you supposed to give me the sum as soon as I pay you the money so I can serve. They kept the, the summons because I kept Getting on their backs, did this get served? They sent them back to me. Okay, I serve them. Okay, and then when I serve them, now you're telling me I didn't give it to the clerk of the court. I didn't fi I didn't serve the people, even though you see it on recordings that I served the people. You think I spent four hundred and two dollars just to serve people? To not come on. I'm finna prove a point with this. And then I'm going to prove a point with the next case and the next case. And the funny thing about it is every one of these cases. And then I got the Rockville and, and, and Silver Spring judges and state attorneys. You're next. I'm going to sue the shit out of y'all violating my rights. Telling me as a black man, I don't I'm not entitled to a jury trial. As a black man, 
But a white man can go in there and get a jury trial and be found not guilty. I go before a judge and he wants to prove a point. Gives me 90 days. Oh, come on. For a, a, a crime that isn't even on law. They had to put they had to put two statutes together to make a crime. And it still is not a crime. The highest court in the land has already ruled on that. But this is the corruption in our judicial system. And the funny thing about it, the whore that you may see on some of these uh, comments, uh, individual talking about I was arrested. You're right, I was arrested. Did five years for saying in a, in a state court, they say I put contract hits out on all the judges in Rockville and their family and the county executive at that time for the corporation of Montgomery County. And I'm sitting in a state penitentiary um, with a judge and a state attorney, not the ones from Montgomery County, but the whores came from Prince George's County and lied that they were Montgomery County officials. This is the corruption. Go look at the case. I, I don't have nothing to hide. But this is the corruption that is taking place in America today and thank God for social media because now we get to put it on here and let people see it and I'm going to do it. The same judge that denied me a jury trial is one of the whores in this case that they got me talking about I put contract hits out on them and then I notified them that I put the contract hits out on them. Come on. Come on. What, they thought they was going to scare me for going to prison. Wrong person you fucking with. And then when you go to the... And I'm just giving you a little briefing about how corrupt this monk is. Every prison I went to, and once they found out what I was in there for, they got me out of their prison. They got me out of their prison. Because they didn't want no part of it. The fucked up shit that this corporation they call Montgomery County is. This is the corruption that is taking place. Thank God for social media. Because now you can record and keep an eye on your servant. And this is what I tell all you free people. Pick up that camera and start recording these individuals that work for you. That's why they don't want the camera in front of them. If you're doing nothing wrong, who cares? But if they want, they want, they call these little uh, enemy of the people to get you out of there. Go look at social media. How many times they call the enemy of the people to get you out of an, an office that you pay for with your tax dollars because they have something to hide. If you're doing nothing wrong, you ain't got nothing to hide. Let them record. You can come and record me all day. You ain't going to find nothing illegal or me doing anything wrong. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this shit ain't over with yet. Matter of fact, it's just beginning. We knew for a fact <laughs> we would never get justice in Maryland. Like I told you before, we got one of these whores that's uh, a, a commentator said about my other cases. Come on. Go look up government officials. A judge cannot come from an elected uh, area where he was elected a judge and come into another county where the people didn't elect him and be a judge. But that's what happened. And then when we filed it, the lawsuit, you know what they dismissed it? Uh, mind you, I'm sitting up in prison, right? They say... I didn't pay the filing fees, so that's why they dismissed my case. I'm sitting up in prison. Even though you gave me a waiver of filing the fees, you dismissed the case saying I didn't pay the filing fee. So this clown who is writing these comments, if you're going to make the comment, tell the people really why the case got dismissed. Don't write foolishness because you want people to believe um, what you're saying. The case got dismissed <clears throat> because I didn't pay the filing fee because I was in prison. But you waive the filing fee. 
So this time, we're not waiving any fees. I'm paying. Either you're going to extort the money from me or you're going to have, let me have my justice, my grievance. You're going to hear my grievance. And right now, this case is over with. You got three more chances to go at it because the same defendants, almost all the same defendants, Tacoma Park, Montgomery County, you're going to be defendants in the next one. Make no mistake about that. We've already served the letters of intent to sue the judges and the state attorney. Go look at some of the recordings where the sheriff come out talking about, oh, we, you can't drop this off here. Get the fuck out of here. You're a government official. And the clerk of the court didn't want to take it because she's the first line of defense to putting up barriers to keep these criminals from getting sued. It's coming. And we're going to sue the shit out you. You can move to Damascus, all them places far out. And these where these criminals live at. We've ran their tags. We found out where they live at. We're going to serve them. And we're going to serve it the right way. This time I'm going to see if I can get the marshals to serve them. Since there's a big issue. I'm pretty sure if the marshals go to their home and they're not there, they're going to serve it to their wives. Or oh, they're not government officials or, or agents of the defendant. That's some of the clowns that write these statements. Don't know what they're talking about. But again, we got 10 days. The 10 days is almost over with. Let's see how corrupt this judge is. Because we're still waiting. He's passed 45 days from the last two uh, orders he wrote for show cause. And I'm not writing anything to you, judge. No disrespect to you. I don't know you, but I know your clerk of your court. I handed these documents to them. They are official documents. And somebody needs to be held accountable. And I'm not the one that should be held accountable. And if you dismiss this, then we go up and try to get you disbarred because you're a corrupt judge. Don't ask me what happened to the document. You should be asking your clerk of the court what happened to the document. They say, why don't I make copies and send them the copies to them again? What? Why do a free citizen have to do the job we're paying them to do? These are official documents. How do you lose 10 official documents in a lawsuit for $62 million? If you go and look at the paperwork, they even changed the amount. Nine million point nine 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 nine. That's not what I asked for. You think because it's a black man, you're going to throw him crumbs? If I was white, you give me what I asked for. You put down what I put on my documents. You alter official documents. Judge, I don't know if it was you or the clerk of the court, but go back and read. What the amount was. Somebody said, oh, they just, you can't go over something else. That's not what the, the civil procedure says. Once it goes over a certain amount, that's why you can uh, ask for a jury to hear the case. And which I did do. But they changed the amount of the lawsuit. They altered an official document inside the clerk's office. Or inside this courthouse. I don't know who did it. But they altered it. Which is a criminal act in itself. Didn't tell me about it. Didn't say nothing to me. The only time I saw it is when they sent me my first document saying nine uh, million nine 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 something. That's not what I asked for. You're not going to throw me crumbs because I'm a black man. This is a racial move, a biased racial move by the clerks of the courthouse of Greenbelt, Maryland. And I'm going to prove it without a shadow of a doubt. So we got about two or three more days before this 10 days is over with. Let's see what paperwork we received then. Again. The judges gave us 10 days or the enter of this order. 
And this is the date, y'all. Let me get it so y'all can see it. Right there. 10-17-2023. Oh, one more thing. Uh, this disorderly conduct. And you see uh, Tacoma Park's uh, conspiring to implement a crime. Come on. This, this is why they didn't want to go to court to 12 people to hear this case. Come on. It clearly shows these officers are fabricating a disorderly conduct and trying to implement it on me. And when it didn't happen, when I call, and let me make this very clear to the judge, state attorney, because I know you're watching. I call the police officer a bitch. Which is my First Amendment right. Because he's a piece of shit. He stole my money. He stole my property. And I'm not talking about the cars. This, when he locked me up on this, this motherfucker stole my $50 and my other property. Which you see in another recording. None of it is on the paper bag. The chain of command. Okay? He's a whore. And this isn't my first run in with this clown. That's why I know he's a bitch. But on that date, I call him a bitch and he jumps out the car and says, I'm going to lock you up for disorderly conduct. A disorderly conduct, freedom of speech is not. You can't make a constitutional right into a crime, free people. Freedom of speech is the number one uh, amendment. Okay. The judge says in a free society, uh, you can't speak that. This clown ass, he lives out in Damascus. Uh, he don't, I guess he don't look at TV or rap music. I'm pretty sure his own kids call him a bitch behind his back. You know, I'm going to call you a bitch in front of your face because I know you watch it. And the only reason I ain't say nothing in the courtroom to you is because my lawyer said don't say nothing to him because he's wrong. You didn't scare me with the 60 days, okay? And the probation, I ain't do none of it. And I'm not boasting about it, but it's a criminal element that needs to be brought to, to the light. And this is what we need to do now, free people, is put the spotlight on these fucking cockroaches that we have put into positions to run our government for us. So stay tuned, more to come.